The Majesty. I know you are in deep pain, but this is beyond mere mortal pain. Be a man. Be the king, the lion that we have always known you to be. <sighs> Goodbye, our queen. <sighs> Your Majesty, if money could buy life, our queen will not be lying in this casket like this. Your Majesty, you did everything humanly possible to make sure our queen lived. But fate has its own plans. Take heart, my king. My queen. Fare thee well and have a glorious journey. The flame of love which you have lit in this kingdom shall never be extinguished. Fare thee well, my noble queen. Fare thee well. Death. Death is that ill wind that blows no one any good. It knows no one. Its victim can be either young or old. <sighs> the bitter truth about this life is that death is that sour soup all of us must taste one day. Grieve no more, my king, for she has gone to that great beyond of no return. <sighs> Farewell, my queen. Farewell. Your Majesty. A man does not die at this part where he lost his precious gift. I beg of you, your majesty, do not bring calamity upon yourself and the entire people of our kingdom. Push all this behind you for your head. Courageously move on. Be strong by the king the white lion that we have ever been. <sighs> Rest in peace, our beautiful queen, till we meet to part no more. I was very shocked when I heard that the Queen is passed. I never knew she was sick. Five years she battled cancer. For five years I put my life on hold, fighting to save her life. I did everything that I could to keep the Queen alive. I took her to the best hospitals in the world. Give her the best medical care. That evil 
illness was determined to take her away from us. Pity. You must have spent a hell of money. Our money. What's that? My concern at the time, I... I just wanted to save her life. I was willing to spend to the last die. Well, me, but... Um, fate. Fate. My condolences, Your Majesty. Take her. I strongly believe that the gods uh, have reason for allowing what happened to happen. So they say. <laughs> uh, so I have been told. But you see, I'm still seated here, waiting for answers. I need to know why an ugly fate like that would befall a good man like me. Well, um, you know, it's part of the mysteries that is beyond human imagination. I want you to understand that uh, life at some point throws things that are bigger than us and we're expected to endure and overcome them all. Well, truth is if the cosmic powers beyond us will sometimes do a proper evaluation of our strengths. I guess that um, they would know what exactly to throw at us because sometimes really I can't Well, Things I Things like this are hard to take. I understand. I understand how you feel, Your Majesty. But you need to pull yourself together and move on. Of course, you, you don't need to cling in the past. I know it's not an easy road. But it must allow the past to go so the future can set in. But can we truly have a future without a past? Without a mystery. You will agree with me. <laughs> well, um, Your Majesty. Miriam. Oh. Um, uh, Your Majesty, I, I must be on my way. Your by pass. all means. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Son is that? Oh, huh? Obi, I'm only trying to show concern. Why are you looking this dirty? It's none of your business, Stella. None of your business. You're always aggressive towards me. Why? The, the, the question here should be, why are you poking your nose into what doesn't concern you? Huh? Why won't you just mind your business? Come on, that is exactly what I am doing. You are my business. Hence the reason I decided to stop the moment I saw you. Come on, I... I I don't like the way you're looking. What is the problem? Speak to me. You know, it, it baffles me why a beautiful girl like you, the only daughter of Chief Akadiyako, should be discussing yourself the way you do. That's an insult, but I wouldn't want to take it that way. I take it as you any way you want to see, but do not allow me to face the anger of what those military people did to me to you. Eh? What, what military men? What did you do to them that they treated you this way? Come on, Obi, speak to me. Just say something. I'm I let you you. Come on, stop. Tell me what they did to you. I don't like this. I will take it up and make sure they do not go unpunished. I promise. Look, I, I am not here to exchange words with you. Eh? But if you want to know, go to that military base at Uk the Junction. That is where they took my keke to. Tell them or beg them or do whatever I want to do. Let them release my keke to you. 
Simple. Okay, okay, fine. Agreed. I will do that. At least tell me what you did. I deserve to know. Those little people, they caught me because... What did I do? I just splashed little water. Not plenty, oh. You splashed little water. water on the military men. They caught me and commanded me to be rolling on the water. Just little water that I splashed on them. And they seized my keke. So go there, tell them or beg them, do whatever you want to do. And get my keke for me. But you do not do that intentionally, right? How can I? I didn't do it intentionally now. It was a mistake. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. It's okay, I will go there. The military base at Ukwaji, right? I promise I'll come back with your keke, okay? Um, are you feeling any pain? Like... Still, don't, don't stop asking those, don't, that kind of question. Am I your baby? I'm a Okay, I'll bring your keke for you. Um, you said Ukwaji, right? Okay. Thank you, love you. Mwah. I hope you know that life without love is like creating a human being without a heart. How do you expect that human to function? Likewise, a fish cannot survive without water. My king, life without you has been meaningless. The last five years has been tough. The ill health of your late wife, you understand? Waking up every morning and having thoughts of you in another man's arm is one of the toughest battles that I have had to fight. For the last five years, I have engaged in a very fierce, emotional fight. I have lived missing you. But also, fighting to learn how to live without you. You don't think you should continue fighting? Who knows? You might come out victorious. I hope you know that what happened the first time was a big mistake. But allowing what happened the first time repeat itself again would be foolishness. I wish I never made a decision I made in the past. What are you talking about? Some things are better left unsaid. Tell me. But I tell you this, my king. My life has been meaningless without you. I will see you in court. I will see you in court. Mm. Mm. Hey. 
sorry. Everywhere, everywhere is burning me. Oh, hi. Take it easy now. I'm gonna run mad again. Eh? Me if I stop. Take it easy. Sorry. I. My vein. My vein. I. 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 Sorry. Take it easy. I. I hardly see this coming, you know. Only I did not do this intentionally. Heaven knows I didn't do it intentionally. I didn't do it intentionally. Really did intentionally. I feel the situation, honey. Hey, hey. Honey, it was a mistake. I was rushing to pick a sick customer of mine to the hospital. And I mistakenly, mistakenly splashed water on them. And that was it. That was all. This army people brought me out of my keke and panabited me. Hey! And then that could be fitting can I go back? No, they dealt with me. I begged them all. I, I, I pleaded with them. I, 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 I begged them. Pleaded with them. I begged them. But they didn't listen to me. They were just beating me like tomorrow. 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 It will not exist again. There wasn't the whole situation. The system I get yeah? hmm. It was Stella. It was Stella that used her father's influence to retrieve my keke from them. If not, the different man can call over. What will I tell the owner of the keke? Huh? The man that gave it to me for her purchase. How would I tell him? Hi. Hi, honey. Honey? Honey? Ah. Hi. Hi. I'm talking to you. Well, your mind is not here. What were you thinking? No. I'm not, I'm not thinking of anything. Is there anything the matter? If you're not thinking of anything, what was the last thing I said? Um. It is written. In the holy book by Chukwu Kikabiyama, God the Creator, that He took a bone off the ribs of every man and made for each of them. A very beautiful bride. One that they can call their soulmate. God the master planner. 
kuchukua kikabi hapa nje ko the one that heareth all and seeth all the one that perfects all in his time he makes no mistake miriam Omale changwa. Oke boy bom. Anya wato tomo. From the day I set my eyes on you, I knew that you are the one that you ko kikabi ama has made for me. You are the one made from the bone of my ribs to give me joy to make me complete as my soul made my soul tie But then I lost you. I lost you out of my love for humanity. Out of the benevolence of my heart. A life. Life has brought you my way again, Miriam. And so on a day like this I ask myself will a great king like me be so foolish to let go of the one that Chukoki Kabiaba has sent to him to make him complete Chenna yeah uh, is quite long uh, we have not seen uh well, what do i offer you uh, uh, oh no i'm not here and i'm not in the mood for anything i am here for a very serious business actually i don't need anyone to tell me that because the unhappiness is reflecting on your face all over you now tell me what is the problem I want to believe that my late sister the former queen of this great kingdom whom you people buried few days ago did not die a natural death. Uh, uh, did I hear you correctly? You heard me well. Uh, and what are you insinuating? Someone very close to her took her life for a reason best known to him. Uh, 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 How come? How did you come about all this since you are saying? Oh no, my sister appeared to me twice. Telling me that she is not happy with the king. Oh no. I don't need anybody to tell me that the king, your king, killed my sister with that deadly sickness. Uchenaya. We are all away that Your sister, the late queen, died of cancer. How come you accuse an innocent king? I am not. Hey, hold on. How come you accuse an innocent king of killing his own beloved wife? Oh no, I'm not accusing an innocent king of killing his own wife. Your king killed my sister. That is the reason she is not happy with him. Tell your king to confess. For I will play a music. He will never be able to dance to its tune. This is not a threat. I mean every bit of what I've just said here. Why are you shouting my name? Miri. Uh -huh. Miri. Miri, Miri, come here. I am talking to you and you're working out on me. What has come over you? Eh? 
You will be having so strange lately. Mary, what is the problem? I just said I am going to see my parents. My stepmother is not feeling too good. I want to go and see her and know how she's doing. Is that a problem? And I can go with you and see them. We are talking about my mother-in-law here. Obina, what is wrong with you? Did, did you hear me mention that my mother is at the point of death? Did you hear me say that? So please, allow me to go see her while you go to work. And I can still go to work after seeing her. Can't I? Obina, the fact that we do not have children does not mean you don't have responsibilities. Listen to me. I am tired of this lifestyle. You see this? I am tired. You brought me all the way from the city back to the village. Are you expecting to be okay with it? Please, Obina. I am tired. I am tired. Go and hustle like other men and leave me alone. Stop following me like fly. Ah? Uh -huh. well, what are you talking about? What I am talking about is for you to go out there and hustle like other men. Stop following me like fly. Okay, ne? Okay, ne? Mary. Please, Mary. Don't, don't marry me, please. Mary! Everywhere I'm going, you want to go with me. Mary, Mama. Life with him over the years has been terrible. Really? Yes. Getting married to him is one big mistake I will never forgive myself for making. You know, this is the second time you're saying this. And each time, you say this with so much pain and bitterness. What really happened? I'd like to know. I wish I never met him my entire life. But you once loved him with all your heart. Yes, I thought I did. I later realized I did what I did out of sympathy and some stupid loyalty. My king, please. Can we just stop talking about this? I came here to see you so I can make you happy. Are you serious? Yes, I am serious. <laughs> you know, coming around you makes me happy. And at the same time, fulfilled. Just like having you around gives me joy. The kind of joy that I have not experienced in five years. Hmm. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, can I go ahead and dish the food? By all means, baby. You can. But you see, I want you to know that your presence here is like food to my soul. Just gives me the strength to carry <laughs> It's okay, come on, baby. It's, it's fine. No! It took me time to make this specially for you. I know, baby. I know the work you're putting in. It's okay. I mean, you know, you'll always make me something else. I just got one of the maidens to, to clean it up, okay? Um, it's okay. <sighs> Sweetheart, okay, okay, okay. You know what? You're here. How about you make me something while you're here? You just go to the kitchen and make me something. I could join you in the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> uh, you will join me in the kitchen? Oh, yes. We'll just make something really nice together. Are you joking? I'm serious. This sounds strange. 
But that would be nice. Yeah, it would be fun. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> Come on. Mama, you mean you are not sick? That you are very strong? What type of stupid question is that? Are you praying for me to fall sick? I may God forbid that I made that kind of prayer for you, Mama. It's not possible now. But your question is very suspicious. Uh, it's because my wife told me that she's coming to see her stepmother. I mean, my mother-in-law, whom she said I was sick. You are not serious. My daughter cannot say such lies. She cannot tell such lies. But Papa, she did. I even offered to come with her, but she refused. She asked me to go to work and she wants to come all alone. I said, okay. So how did you end up here if what you, what you just said is true? Uh, Mama, my keke had issue. So I took it to the mechanic. And while I was there, I thought it wise to come here with this item, that is, to come and see my, 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 my mother-in-law, that is sick. All right. If it is true that she says such thing to you, now where could she be? Because we have not seen her since today. Or have you? Nebe, I have not seen her. Exactly. Where, where could she be? Stella, what is it? Why are you stalking me, Stella? Why? Can you calm down? I just want us to have a talk. Talk about what exactly? About us. Stella, there is no us and there will never be any us. There was, there is, and there will forever be us going forward. So I would really appreciate it if you stop avoiding me because I am your shadow. Be a shadow of your miserable self, Stella. There is no doubt that I love you a lot, a whole lot, but I wouldn't have you insult me as well. Stella, if insulting you will make you stop following me, honestly, I will go on and on and on and keep insulting you. Stella, it is over between us. Leave me alone. You know, I've actually dated the higher mighty in the society. No one, not even a single of them dumped me. And that will not start from you, because I do the dumping. So I would really advise you to do my bidding, else you will bear the consequences. Are you threatening me or what? Stella, have you forgotten so soon? Our past, how miserable our past was. I can never, ever go into a relationship with you. Never. You are only allowed to be with one woman, and that woman is me. Don't want to take your call. The caller is not someone that is important to me. My king, please. I don't want us to talk about anything that will spoil this beautiful moment that we share. I'm just wondering, I mean, it could be. Your... Can you please just stop? Stop, please. Stop it. to say it for you to understand that I do not want to talk about him. Don't you want my happiness?
All I have ever wanted is your happiness. I showed you happiness the first time I saw you. And I have prayed for Chukuki Kabiyama to give me another chance to prove to you how happy I can make you. I have gotten another chance. And trust me, I am not going to lose you to anyone. Why do you say things you cannot do? What are you talking about? Action they say speaks louder than words. Put your words into action. And save me from the mystery that I'm facing in his hands. That is if you truly care about me. Of course I care about you. I care a lot about you. And I'm never going to let anyone take it from me. Woman, listen to me. If you know where you kept my daughter, go there and bring her out. Otherwise, I will do something both of us will regret. What kind of stupid accusation is that? Good. So I have become stupid. Listen to me. I am not accusing you. Rather, I'm stating the obvious. There's no way you will tell me that you don't know where Mary went. For crying out loud, both of you are very close. And I'm sure that she tells you what she does. So tell her to go back to her husband's house so the young man can have some peace of mind. Oh no. Oh no. Biko. She don't know Hold your mouth. Oh. Biko, I'm begging you. How dare you accuse me of, of, of such? Hmm. it. Is she no longer the child after her own father's heart? Biko, don't put this rubbish on my head. Woman. Go and look for her. Just pray that nothing happens to my daughter. Otherwise, otherwise, I will teach you a lesson you will not forget in a hurry. There is no lesson to teach me. Talk more of the one I will not forget in a hurry. Nothing. Let me tell you, if you continue to accuse me this way, I will tell the entire kingdom that you know your daughter's whereabouts. Nga wafa, ka do for your daughter. Je kora page bi de sari abiko. I have told you what I have in mind. It seems to me you are taking my chivalrousness for granted. Ngwa kai shiva bazie no. Okwa chivalrous, no problem. Let's chivalrous it. Eh? Oh do you bo? Eh biko biko go allow me some peace. How dare you lie to me that your mother is sick? Why your mother is not sick? I didn't even go to your parents' house. And what right do you have to ask me such a question? Huh? How dare you talk to me in such manner and tone? Huh? And who are you to tell me how to talk to you? Who? Now listen, listen, now listen real good. It's obvious you're not coming from your parents' house. So tell me, where are you coming from? Mr. Ma, please. I beg you in the name of God, allow me to go inside and rest. Do not spoil my day for me. I'm begging you, please. Let it not be what I'm thinking. Let it not be that you went to a man's house. And if I went to a man's house, what will you do? It better not be that. Okay, fine. I went to a man's house. Do your worst. Do that thing you think you can do. Do it. Haven't I told you that I'm tired of this bondage you call marriage? Haven't I told you? I am tired! Ah, do I have to sing it all the time? What is wrong with you? What has come over you? Why are you misbehaving? What is it? Look! Who sowed this seed of discord in your heart? Who? And don't forget that this marriage before better for us. I am tired of this marriage. Oh, for the Why? 
I married you out of sympathy. Marriage is for better, for worse. If I go, there is no going back. Miriam. Stella, what is the meaning of this? How many times have I warned you to stay away from me? How many times? Could that be the reason you did this to me? And that we wouldn't do something worse than you experienced if you do not leave this place. Stella, come on, this is not fair. Why would you do that? Grace, please, don't allow me vent out my anger on you. Oh, yeah? You know what? Get it ready to pour more drinks on me. Because you are going to see more of me these days. Yes! Don't you dare, Johnson. Don't even dare me. Because I will give you the shock of your life. I am warning you not to. Johnson, I'm, I'm very, very sorry, okay? Please forgive her, okay? I'm very, very sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I've already forgiven her. Stella, you did this to me? No problem. Thank you for this. But I will, I will, I will never give up. Don't I'm so sorry, okay? I'm very sorry. Oh. you shouldn't have done that. Please, Grace, you can as well leave. Oh, really? I should go? I said leave if you want to. What's wrong, what's wrong with you? Greetings to you, King of Oboduku Kingdom. Ah. <laughs> My love. Uh, since when did you begin to greet me in that manner? Oh, the I hope all is well. I ask because you don't look happy to me. What is it? Sit down, sit and talk to me, for I am confident that I can provide the solution to whatever troubles you have. Sit. Why did you do it? Why did you do what you did to my sister? What are you talking about? Oh, don't pretend. Don't pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Why did you have to treat my sister that way? Uchenla. Do you realize that you're in my presence? Uchenaya, it is very important for you to know that as a man, it is expedient that you know your class and your level, wherever you find yourself. Now, the fact that life has brought us together and made me your in-law does not give you the rights to raise your voice at me and speak to me in that tone. As you are here, you are going to watch your words and you are going to watch your tone. What will you do? Now tell me, what will you do to me? Kill me the way you killed my sister? Huh? What? What did you say? My sister loved you with all her heart. My family accepted you and showered you with love. But what did you do? You turn around like the nice leg that you are and beat her with your dangerous venom. Let me tell you. Everything everyone does in this earth has a reward. And your own reward will be served to you just the way you did to my sister here on earth. Enough! Which enough? Watch your mouth. You stand there and act 
accuse me of killing my own wife. Uchenna, close your mouth. Close your mouth. Shut it before the gods of this land strike you dead. Oh, so the gods! I refuse, my king. I refuse. The gods can only listen when the innocent calls on them. Not when a man whose hands are dripping with the blood of the innocent is calling on them just to cover up for his sins. Confess. Confess. Else, I will make you pay for what you did to my late sister. Do not say I didn't warn you. Don't say I did not warn you. Excuse me. Stella, you really went too far. You shouldn't have poured drink on him. I mean, he's uncalled for. Was that the reason you did what you did? <sighs> Let's call it spirit is spirit, not a working implement. What you did was wrong. You're beginning to sound like my father and I don't like it. <laughs> you know what? You hate hearing the truth. And that is why I'm your friend. I'll keep on telling you until it gets to your ear. Grace, mm -hmm. what truth are you talking about? That you overreacted. What you did is wrong. I did nothing wrong. I have told that man countless times that I do not want to set my eyes on him ever again. Oh yeah? Come to think of it, don't I have the right to quit a relationship I am not comfortable in? <laughs> don't I? I never said you don't have the right. So what are you talking about? I am saying that you should stop this your behavior. It's not good! Come to think of it. Johnson loves and still wants you back. But I have told that man a lot of times that I do not want him. <laughs> I've made it clear to him that I don't want to have anything to do with him. How else do I explain it to him? <sighs> Grace, that man almost destroyed my life. He's the reason I broke up with Obi. <sighs> I don't understand. I mean, what are you saying? Johnson is a beast. If I tell you what he has done to me, you would never ever want him an inch close to me for any reason. So when advising me, also try to understand me. Obi, do you mean my daughter told you that she's no longer interested in the marriage? Yes, Papa, she, she said so. As a matter of fact, this is not the first time she says something like this. <laughs> this is very strange. Honestly, I find it difficult to believe that my own daughter will open her mouth, her vocal cavity to say such a thing to you. Papa, it's very strange to me as well. But I love her so much. I love her so much. I do not want to lose her. She's all I have in this world. Uh, now, uh, uh, tell me, did you, did you, because uh, what, 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 I'm, what I'm envisaging is a kind of teeth that's slight quarrel between lovers. Did you do anything wrong to her? Papa, I didn't do anything wrong to her. At least, to the best of my knowledge, no. I, I, I didn't. Obi, don't ask me parrot fashion. This question demands introspection. That's self-examination. Tell me the truth. I will handle the rest. Did you do anything bad to her? Papa, I, I didn't. If I did something wrong to her, I won't be here asking you, or rather, I won't be here reporting to you. I didn't. Very strange. Quite strange. It means something must be wrong somewhere. But, but, but we can't place our finger on it for now. You know, 
Something is wrong somewhere. That is why I am here, to help me find out. Something, something is wrong somewhere. And that is why I am here, so you can help me find out. Why are you driving like somebody who is being chased by death? Ichi, I am the death that is chasing after a person. And I'm going to kill who is involved if he doesn't take his time. What are you talking about? I was actually coming to your house before I met you here. What's the problem? The death of my sister is not ordinary. And I am so much concerned about it. Ichi, I tell you, I'm so certain that the king has a hand in it. Uh, uh. Are you saying that the king is responsible for the death of his late wife, your sister? Do you know the gravity of what you've just said? I've already told her no. And I'm just coming back from the palace. The royal cabinet members should advise him to confess to his atrocities. Else, I will make him pay with everything he has, including his life. A word they said is enough for the wise. Your Majesty, I find it difficult to believe that Uchenna has the guts to walk into this palace and talk to you the way you said he did. I, I, who is he? He would, have, he would have ordered your guards to deal with him mercilessly. But no. Oh, no. But wisdom. There is a reason the lion retreats at the sudden sight of human beings. Wisdom. Mm. <laughs> wisdom. I agreed, agreed, Your Majesty. But even at that, he did not just insult you. He insulted the throne of Fubuduku Kingdom. He insulted the, the entire people of Fubuduku Kingdom. Well, oh no, I invited you here to have this talk with you because uh, it is said that when one person sees a tiny snake, it could be mistaken to be a very big python. That is true. You see, this same Uchenna came to me with that same useless discussion. I dismissed him. I never knew he would still continue to the extent of coming to you with that same useless topic. Uche Naya came to you to tell you that me, he came, killed my wife. Of course, but he might go now, but I don't know. You see, I, I dismissed him because I never took him serious. I know him. He, he acts under the influence of hard drugs. Oh no, why it, it, did you not come to me with this matter? Why did you not tell me about it? Like I said, he, he, he is under an influence of an alcohol. He takes something that disturbs his health. And of course, he is not a serious person. I know him for that. So I did not take him serious, and besides, I know you will not do that. You did not kill your wife. Oh no, it is part of your responsibility to ensure that matters like this are not swept under the carpet. Topics like this can be damaging to the reputation of your king. You should know better. Mm. You are very correct, your majesty. 
Uh, as it is, um, what, what do you think we're going to do? Give me time to think. It's okay, Your Majesty. Adugo, Mini, your daughter wants to divorce her husband. What? Where did you get such information from? Anyway, her husband was here early in the day. He told me that um, Mini threatened to divorce him. This is serious, so. I mean, what could make Mary threaten to divorce her husband? The man she chose over every other person. You see, if I knew, I wouldn't have been having this conversation with you now. Now tell me, Adugo, what is going on between me and her husband that warrants divorce? Tell me. <laughs> hey, Okunoka. Okunoka. Oh no, you have come again. Ibiakwa. What type of question is that? A am I living with both of them in the, in the same house? Mary does not hide anything from you as her stepmother. And I am sure there is something which you know that I don't know. Something I know that you don't know is what does not exist. And I know, let me tell you, the earlier you put a call across to her to come and explain things to us, the better for you. As for that marriage, I don't care whether it is dissolved or not. I don't care. I don't even like that young man in the first place. Tell me, what exactly did that young man do to you that made you hate him with acrimony? That question is not necessary. Come to think of it, like you told me, we are you not the one that asked them to get married to each other? All right, Figuam. It is good that you pray for them not to separate. And I know, but let me ask you, the post status of that young man, is it not enough reason for Mary to divorce him? You see, you are not coming out of your shells. You are showing you are true color. Characters like you are the type we call in Latin anguish in harbor. That's green snake in a green grass. That's green snake under green grass. How can a woman who rejected the richest man in this kingdom just to be married to me suddenly change and become something else? What is going on? What did you say to my father that made him call me on the phone? And what did he say to you? That you visited him today and he wants to see me. Why? Then go and see him and find out why he summoned you. <sighs> Just pray it has nothing to do with the both of us. Because if it does, trust me, I swear to God, I will tell them everything that I'm passing through in this marriage. I would... I would... Hey! Just remember you took an oath of secrecy never to tell anyone what happens in this marriage. Oh no. Tell me, how much did that boy called Uchenaya pay to you for you to do what you are doing? No, just tell me. Oh no. I take exception at that question. Nobody paid me anything. But the truth has to be told, no matter how bitter it sounds. Which truth are you talking about? Which truth is Zondo? That the king, the white lion, killed his own wife? No, hold on. Of what benefit will it be to him? 
Oh, no. That question is supposed to have gone to the king and not me. Oh, no. Why are you taking this matter personal? I am taking this matter personal because I know the king too well. I know the white lion. I know the supreme ruler of this kingdom. I know him. He cannot do such that you people accuse him of. Oh. It's not possible. Oh, oh. So you mean that that young man just cooked up that story? No. Tell us, why will he do that? We are all aware that the king had no form of any enmity with his in laws. This is the reason I'm interested in this matter. And I must get to the root of this matter. I can perceive clearly a case of conspiracy here. Yes. You people have decided to conspire against the king once more. Oh no, what do you mean by that? It is obvious you people hate the king. You hate the white lion. And that is why you want him out of the throne by all means. Hmm. So you can install any other person of your choice who will come in and embezzle the fund of the community. So that any money that comes into the coffers of the community will not be accounted for. That is the kind of person you people want. Oh no, please. Please and please, don't change the topic on ground. Let the king the face the consequence of his evil act. What evil act are you talking what about? Evil, what, what evil what act? What evil act? Why do you hate the king so much? I that you won't go to any extent. This is no matter of hatred. Simply, the king killed his wife. It is obvious. Who showed you, you that? Know? Who, showed you Who told you that? Did you caca lower your voice? Do you have any evidence? Who told you that? Did you caca lower your voice? Even if you don't like it, you are in the house of Ono. Will you respect shut, the will you man you shut up in your mouth? Oh, caca, I wouldn't blame you. You don't know you are left and you are right. Oh, caca, I wouldn't blame you. Because when you go about carrying glasses and bottles of water upon your face, that that does not allow you to see well. <laughs> Land cruiser. I said, if I carry customers like they don't even they like to come down again. See now they enjoy your money. Okay. I will never reach them. Don't they too enjoy your money again? Okay, say stop now, you man. Stop us. I say stop us here. Okay, this story they para like this. Juliana, you are dead. Don't torment me. I have nothing in common with you, Juliana. Why are you here? I am not dead. I live for as long as you live. Come. Come to me. Come to Mama. Come to me, my love. I have nothing in common with you, Juliana. 
What do you want from me? What do you want from me? What have, what have I done to you? Huh? Why? Why did you do what you did? What did I do? Who is it? It's the royal guard, Your Majesty. What do you want? The visitor is here to see you. Tell them I'll join them. Ask them, is this your majesty? I am very convinced, deep down in my heart, that the king killed his late wife. And the question remains, why? <laughs> you disappoint me sometimes, Sichi Ozondo. How can you be asking such questions? Is the source of his word not suspicious to you? Okay, just be truthful to yourself, Sichi Ozondo. Don't you think he soiled his hands to make money? Say the truth. His source of wealth, you say? Yes. That's <laughs> what I said. Hey, are you not an Ichi? In this, our great kingdom. I am. To know that our king inherited his wealth from the late father. Eh? Let us stop bothering ourselves with his source of wealth and concentrate on the fact that people are accusing him of killing his late wife. Nobody is accusing him. He no. did it. Nobody is accusing it. him. He did it. And he must not be allowed to get away with this this time around. At all. He has hey. to be kicked out of the throne. And the earlier we swing into action, the better. We must make him leave that throne. Is it what you say? Yes, that's what I said. <laughs> hey. My king, what's going on? You haven't said anything for some time now. Why are you not talking to me? Fine. I get it. You don't want to see me in this palace again. I am becoming a pest, right? That is not true. Then what is the problem? I have come here so I can have peace and happiness. But I guess what I want is not what you want. I'll just... I'll just walk out of this place and you'll never see me again. And why would you do that? Because it's obvious you don't want me in your life. You've been deceiving me all along. May the gods of our land strike me dead. If I ever lied to you about how I feel about you. I love you. But I want you to believe me. What shall it profit me to deceive a very beautiful soul like you? Then prove it to me. Prove to me that you feel something strong for me rather than using mere words to deceive me. You know, Chukwokikabiyama brought you my way. 
and the past. And I lost you. Out of sentiments and stupidity, maybe. But now life has given you and I another chance to be together. And as our hearts beat as one, I assure you that I am willing to give up anything just to be with you for the rest of my life. I'll never deceive you. No matter what the circumstances are, my feelings for you are not vague. My feelings for you are true. I'm sending her on any errand. Neither did she tell me that she was. She was going out. Huh? Mary. 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 I tell him now what? I'm finished. I, I, he, he, hello, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Some, something happened. I'm finished. Where do I go from here? Who do I run to? Huh? How do I escape? Hey! 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 Mary, what's the problem between you and your husband? I don't understand, Papa. Did my husband tell you people that we're having any problem? Then are you trying to answer my question with another question? Has he come to that? Mm. Answer your father's question. Fine. We are not having any problem. Then why did your husband tell us that you want to divorce him? Papa, you mean my husband said that to you? There you go again. Question for question. Can you stop this, your attitude of answering a question with a question? I don't like it. Answer him straight. My daughter, 
I am your father. Tell me what the problem is all about. So we can find a lasting solution for it. Why did you tell your husband that you want a divorce? Papa, I... I really want us to take this oath. I really do not know why you want me to go to the shrine to swear that I will not tell anyone what's going on in our marriage when we get married. Obey me. Is there something you're not telling me? Something like what? I really don't know. I just feel like what you're asking me to do is not right. My love, I understand how you feel. But the truth is, I don't want any third party in our marriage. Most failed marriages today are as a result of friends and family intrusion. I want us to resolve whatever problem we might have when we finally get married. Are you sure about this? Have I ever lied to you? But I thought you were a Christian. I swear before this great shrine today that anything that happens in our marriage you remain with me. I will not bring in any third party into our marriage. If I should do it, may I die. I swear before this great shrine today that I will not tell anyone anything that happens in our marriage and I will not bring in any third party. If I go against this oath, may I die. Hold it together. It is done. And so shall it be forever. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, hey, oh yeah, oh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, hey, oh yeah, oh. Iwo, iwo, iwo. Oh cho 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 cho. Iwo, iwo, iwo. Mm. Ovrunge o kan kwa ovrule. Ovrule o kan kwa ovrule. Ovrule o kan kwa ovrule. Ovrule o kan kwa ovrule. Ile ovrule. Ovrule o kan kwa ovrule. Ovrule o kan kwa ovrule. Mary, are you all right? My daughter, what is the matter with you? Oh, give me. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. I can't take that from you. Something is definitely and seriously wrong somewhere. A while ago, you were trying to voice out something, but all of a sudden, you went mute for some time. Why that hesitation, my daughter? Papa, I said there's nothing wrong with me. Everything is fine. And for the record, I said that to my husband just to test his love for me. I just wanted to know if he still loves me as before. Are you sure? Yes, Papa. Are you sure? Yes, they were sure. Because I don't even want you to continue with him in that marriage. Can't you see that he's not taking care of you? You're not looking good at all. Eh? 
and of woman. Don't sow any seed of discord in her head. Eh? Uh, it's all right, my daughter. Eh? Everything will be fine very soon. Okay? Don't listen to any type of hogwash. Any type of rubbish that your mother is trying to say now. <laughs> I still can't believe what my eyes saw today. Stella, if anyone had told me that a man will treat you the way that young man did today, and you just swallow it like that, even if he's a prophet, I will not believe that. Obi is not just any man. Obi is very special to me, and I would do anything to have him back. <sighs> my friend, forget about that church rat and move on with Johnson. That will be over my dead body that I go back to Johnson. Come on, I love Obi. <sighs> and I'm not going to let him go just like that. I will fight till the end. But he's married to Oda. He's married. Obi is not happy in that marriage. I told you that. I know. I know it. He's written all over him. I can categorically tell you that Obi is not happy in that marriage. Grace, Obi needs me. Yet, it treats you the way it does. My friend is really going crazy. Are you sure? I really had to think. What kind of a man are you? You made me go to the native doctor's place for the very first time in my life to swear an oath of secrecy. Yet you have refused to keep to that part of the oath. What is wrong with you? Huh? Why are you staring at me like that? What has come over you? Why did you go to tell my parents that I want to divorce you? Why? Why did you do that? Elobi, what is wrong with you? Wait, oh. Obi, is there something you're not telling me? I lost my keke earlier today. I lost it at gunpoint. Do you know the keke called me for a meeting and asked me to Pay him straight this keke money with his keke. <laughs> Else, it will make life unbearable for me. <laughs> Wait. I don't understand what you're saying. What did you just say? We have three days to provide his keke. I'm paying for his three days keke money else. We will see the other side of him. Ha! Mandy, Mandy. It is so good to see you. You know, when they told me someone had come to see me, I was wondering because I wasn't expecting uh, usually today. Uh, days that I set aside to rest my head, you know, and then uh, I behold you. you. You look good, by the way, it's been a while. Eh? That's a club compliment. Come on, say thank you. You look so good. Uh, even though you, you know, you severed communication between you and I, you, you, you took our break, breakup uh, quite um, personal. You stopped talking to me. So I, I was never thinking that there would come a time you'll find it in you to ever want to re-establish communication with me. But you're here now. And let me also add that I know you. I know that um, you're on a mission. You won't come to me if you don't want something, Mandy. I know you. Uh, <laughs> what do you want? There's no doubt to know me too well, my king. Of course I know you. Uh, uh, let's get to it. Uh, what's the purpose of your visit? Old wine, they say test better. My king. Who told you so? Well, not in all cases. Because in my lifetime, I have met some great wine tappers. And they have blessed me with very beautiful flavors. 
one that I would cherish for the rest of my days. My king. Yes. The beautiful memories we created together have refused to leave me. Aha. <laughs> yeah, yes, I miss you so much. I knew that you were onto something. My king, you, you never told me you have a visitor upstairs. What visitor? I see no visitor. I mean the lady standing on the staircase. There is no lady standing on the staircase, Monday. My king. Yes. I know what I'm saying. I saw I saw a lady standing there. Mandy, please. There's no one at the staircase. Can we just get back to what we're talking about? Can you stop? I saw a lady standing there. I just saw a lady. Okay, slow down, slow down. I don't want this, you know, to be blown out of proportion. I know where this is going and I'm not ready for your tantrums, okay? So just calm Can you stop? I know. Don't, don't make me look stupid. I know what I saw. I saw a lady standing at the staircase. I don't see anyone at the staircase. Mandy. Well, I, I know what I saw. Mandy? Like I said earlier, today is my rest day. I have a lot on my mind. Is it possible that we can reschedule this meeting? Maybe when you're not paranoid? Please? Ikemba, just stop. I, I, Ikemba. I'm surprised. I, you mean you didn't see that? The, the lady at the staircase. This English you're speaking this hot afternoon, no? Bring money out, tell me go and buy food stuff for us to cook and eat. What is all this? Will I have to beg for everything? You don't need to raise your voice. What is, please? Down. There's nothing in the house. I am hungry. There's no money yet. I'll get some. When I get some, I'll make money. I'll give you money. Just Wait, this thing you're saying now, eh? you're not really making any sense to me right now. Give me money, let me go and buy food stuff so I can prepare for us to eat. I am hungry. Bring don't you understand? Home. This is public place. This is Public, please, please. Public, then give me money so I can carry no, my no, problem no. and go. Put your voice down. Which voice? Please now. Obi, give me money because. Okay, listen, I, I, uh -uh, what is all this? No customer says money now. When customer comes, I will make money and I'll give money to you. Wait, also because there is no customer, I have to wait for customer. What if customer does not come? Have customer. If I have make half of it, I am I'll... hungry. Bring Don't you understand voice, that English? Bring that with voice. Hey, hey, hey! Okay, Tony. What is that? Beg, 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 beg. Hold your greeting. There's nothing good about this money. Where is my tire? I gave him my tire to repair since last week. You spoiled it instead of repairing my tire. I need my tire on my money now. Me and you don't talk this thing before now. No, we don't talk about this thing now. Money no day now. It's money day. Now me go by myself, call you. May you come collect money for all your, your tire here. Yeah? Oh, that, that one way they talk. You no know, consign me at all. I need my money on my tire. Now, guy, now, guy, you be man like man, eh? My wife they here. Now, now you guys go to the para for me for my wife present. Huh? What did you say? Because I your wife. I need Samad. Okay, wait it now. Wait it now. I don't. I, I, I need my money on my tire now. I don't generally talk to you now. I won't go harass for, 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 for my wife present. Huh? I like this. Make me alone with it. Wait it. Huh? I never respect you. You raise your voice. I never respect you enough. Okay. Huh? I never respect you. You don't raise your voice for me. Why don't I need my money? Why go to for my wife present? I said I need my money. My wife there. You don't talk to me anyhow. Wait it. Don't be don't be don't be tired. I keep pressing. Huh? By the time here. I come back here, you will see the worst. Okay, man, you are. By the time I come back okay, here, I you, you will see the worst. Ah, what fool? What fool? Oh, you okay, you are. Obina, you should be ashamed of yourself. The cow. Ready for you should be ashamed of yourself, Obina. Ha! Obina, do not let me regret this. Do not let me regret it, please. Why would I, I so find you. your hand and so find the hand of a customer again? Shame on you. Eh? Shame on you, hey, Obina. Come, come, come Shame back. Shame on you. Come back, come. Did you people hear what the king said when we visited the palace? Yes. I heard him loud and clear. It seems the ghost of his late wife now visits and disturbs him. <laughs> that king. That king is responsible for his late wife's death. I hey. assure you. Instead of concluding on a matter we know nothing about, 
Is it not better we make our findings? Okaka, there is nothing like concluding. Eh? It, is, it is an assurance. Yes. It is a, a known thing. But since he said we should go and do our findings, we will do that to, to fulfill all Russia's needs. Sure. We will do findings. Okay. How do we go about it? What sort of stupid question is that? Are you saying man stupid? Yes. Your question is stupid. Your question is a very stupid one. Mark, what is your... Hey, that how is all right. else do we do findings in this kingdom? We, see, we don't need to quarrel over that. It's very simple. Hmm? We will visit the gods to carry out our findings. And um, if the chief priest mentions some items for the consultation, who will fund it? You don't have to panic over that. Uh -huh. hmm? Funding is no problem. All Everything right. is under control. Who's on though? Hmm? <laughs> okay. It's well. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> Funding is no problem. It's not a problem Funding is not the problem. At all, at all, at all. Mm. What's again? Uh, Wicked man! You evil man that claim to be the king of this kingdom! This is the end of the road for you. You still have the courage to call me a noisemaker. Now I will show you what real noise making is all about. By Abracadabra. If the bullet from my gun cannot kill you, then I have a better option. I will cut you into pieces like a goat you are. Ay, ay. And why do I keep having my wife's ghost appearing to me? Huh. I have to see Ikenga. I need to speak to Ikenga. Too many things going on all at once. My in-law accusing me of killing my wife. My late wife's ghost is constantly appearing to me and, and the Miriamma is still missing. Miriamma, I have been looking for you. I can't find you. Miriam, your number has been switched off for days now. I just hope that you're fine. Because I have a lot troubling me at this time and... Not being able to reach you should not be one of my many troubles. Miriam. Where are you? Where are you? 
Oh, give me. Nine. Good afternoon. Nine. Good afternoon. Uh-huh. Oh, nine. What is chasing you? Mama, nine. I have a news that's not, that's, that's not pleasant to the ear. News? Eh, eh. You better return to wherever you're coming from with such news. I don't want to hear anybody you say. Let's hear him out first. Ah, Mama. What will the news have to do with your least I do? Mary. Mary, my daughter. Yes. What happened to her? The police had said her and the husband two days ago. Two days. Huh? What? Who told you that? Mama, it's my elder brother who is a police officer working at the police headquarters. Called me some minutes ago. He said that the man who ordered for the arrest wants to take the case to Abuja. Chino. Jesus Christ. My own daughter and her husband in police net. What did they do? Nine. My dad brother did not give me the full details though. But well, he said the case has to do with a stolen keke. Eh? Yes. Stolen keke? Stolen keke. Nay. Ukwa kura We have to go. Alright, thank you for the information. Let me change into something better. Please, oh, please, oh, fast forward, please, oh, please. Eh? Hey. That Uche Naya actually shot at me in my dream. Chukwadu. He took a shot at me in my dream. No, <laughs> Look, this is a bad dream. Of course, I don't need anyone so to tell me that it's a bad dream, and that's why I have summoned you here. What? This boy called Uche now, whatever. What, what, is, what, is, what is he up to this time around? I don't know. But something tells me that he's up to something dangerous. Something dangerous? Yes. One more thing. Ichi Bozondo came here with one of the cabinet members and he told me that he heard from a reliable source that I Mm -hmm. <laughs> he did what? Uh, he said that he heard that I have a hand in the death of my wife. <laughs> it shows on you. Said this to you. He looked me in the eye when he said it. No. This is very serious. This is very serious. Of course I know. And that is why I have invited you here. For your wise counsel, what do we do? Hmm. Hmm. Whoever that cannot be truthful to himself, will always be forced to another. Mm. I want you to check yourself. Tell yourself the truth of the whole thing. Did you kill the queen? Or have a hand in her death? How come that you people didn't call to inform us when this thing happened? <sighs> Papa, everything happened so fast. They don't even allow us to even make a single call. But why would they take my stepdaughter along with you? That's my question. Is she the one that stole the keke? Thank you, Mama. This question you asked now is exactly the same question I asked. How is it my business? Mama, you needed to see the way they treated us. They humiliated us. Ha! Huh? It's all right, my daughter. Thank God that you are both free now. Eh? By the way, who is that lady that bailed you people? Her name is Stella. Stella? Yes, Papa. She's a good Samaritan God sent to bail us. Yeah. She didn't just bail us alone. She probably paid for the keke. Mm? Mm. She must be an angel. Yes. 
God bless her. Anyway, I'm glad that you are both back and free from that avoid chief. That's the most important thing. Freedom. We we'll give God all the glory. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me you were dealing with all of this? One phone call would have solved the problem. You don't need to say much for I know what you're capable of. The truth is that they did not allow us to make any phone call. I'm sorry. Okay. It's quite unfortunate you had to go through all of that all by yourself. But I assure you that I'll always be there for you. Going forward. Okay? Prove to me that I am the only one for you this day. I give you my body. My soul. My all. Take me. And do it to me as it pleases you. Are you sure you want this? Yes. Make me feel that sweet and wonderful sensation that comes to a woman when you romance her when you're in bed. My king. Yes. Make me feel like a complete woman. Are you sure you want this? Yeah. Hmm? I want all of it. Stella, why did you get yourself involved in their case? Why? And what sort of useless question is that? Stella, you didn't just bail him. You equally paid for the gate. He could never with some boys to steal. Why will you do that? For your own good, I would advise you never to refer to Obi as a thief. For I am certain he will never steal. I don't know what that useless, poor, wretched fool is giving to you that is making you to be talking to me in this manner. Nothing. He gave me nothing. But I want you to know that Obina did not steal. And that is the truth. Of course, I know you're not interested in it. So why am I even bothering myself telling you? Stella, I am convinced that you are under a spell. But I will do everything possible to make sure that I free you from that team spell. That is enough. Enough of your madness. Let this be the very first and last time you will bring your busybody into my apartment to spill this rubbish. Would you rather leave or I call the police on you? Bella, you are asking me out of your house. Get out. Get out! I had a very disturbing dream, Your Majesty. In my dream, I saw you making love to my wife. And you were so happy making love to her. Yes. 
You say you had a dream. Yes, Your Majesty. Years ago, Your Majesty, I was on my knees in this palace to beg you to allow me to marry the woman that I love so much. But today, Your Majesty, I am not here to beg you. I am here to ask you to delete anything, any stupid thing that you have in your brain concerning my wife. And to stop harboring any form of illicit affair you are having with her. If you've not started already, for the immortal and the spirits, they know that she is my wife. You come to my palace to rant. Young man, do you realize that you're standing before the white lion? Your Majesty, the king of Obodoku Kingdom, do not say I did not want you. Don't fight your king, he's your king, pull your temper, Don't fight your king, don't fight your king, oh. Wise one, Uchenna has been going about the kingdom, telling everyone that cares to listen to him that our king killed his own wife. And how did he arrive at that conclusion? I don't know. I don't really know for Uchenna. And our king is so bothered. That is why he sent me to you. So you can consult the gods and advise us on how to handle it. Mortals are always known to overrun Jachi. The question is why? Oh no, I have heard what you said. I shall go to the shrine and seek the face of the gods. Because right now, I do not have the solution to the problem at hand. It's okay. But uh, please, when do I expect a feedback from you? Because it is a matter of urgency. When do I expect to hear from you, great king of our kingdom? As soon as the ghost speaks to me, I shall pass words across to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Once again, you're welcome. Thank you. But I am not here to drink. Of course, you know it would be very difficult for me not to offer you anything on your first visit. So please make yourself comfortable and enjoy your drink. Thank you. But like I said, I, I didn't come here to drink. I am here to thank you for rescuing us. You know, especially paying our chief for the keke that was stolen at gunpoint. Come on. You don't have to thank me. Uh, no, I, I have to thank you over and over again. You see, do you think it's everyone that will do what you did for me? God Almighty will continue to bless you. Amen. She will never lack. Amen. Anything you lay your hands upon will continue to prosper. Amen. Um, Obi, the prayers are quite good, but I did what I was supposed to do for you. Really? Yeah. I did what I was supposed to do for you as my man. Why? Why did you say so? Like I said before, I did what I was supposed to do for you as my man. Listen, if I do not love you, I wouldn't have done any of those things. 
and I will beg you to please allow us to rekindle whatever it was that died between us years ago. Why did you say so? Why are you making me to repeat myself? Are you ready to love me again or not? Uchiha, hmm? what you have here is the sum of one million naira. Okay. I want you and other elders to share it because I want them to stand by me. And I can assure you, more will come from where this one came from. Uchiha, you can count on us. Hmm? We are solidly with you in this, okay? Not because of this money, but because we want justice to prevail at the end of the day. Thank you. I'm, I'm very happy hearing this from you. You know, the evil one must not go unpunished. I want to see the king pay dearly for what he did to my late sister, the queen. My son, you have my words. Hmm? You have nothing to be afraid of. We are with you in this to the end. Thank you very much. At least I, I am happy you are you're saying this. I'm counting so much on you people. Oh. You have nothing to be scared of. Thank you. You're welcome. the king today. And who told you that I went to the palace to see the king? So you had the gods to go and insult the king in his own palace? Uh, no, 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 point of correction. I did not go there to insult him, rather I went there to warn him. I went there to warn him to stay clear from my wife. And who told you I have something to do with the king? Because I saw both of you in my dream. Hey, hey, hey. So because you saw me and the king in your stupid dream that is born out of your stupid imagination, that is why you went to insult him, a full-fleshed man. A real man like the king of our kingdom? What is wrong with you? Have you lost it? Hey? You're just so lucky that he did not send his guards to cut off your head. You are very lucky. Hey, 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 woman. Mind the way you talk to me. And what will you do? Do not push me to the wall. And if I push you, what will you do? Tell me, what will you do? Listen to me. Let this be the last time you go to that palace to insult that king. The next time you try it, you will have me to contend with. No sense. They are calling men to come out, you will come outside. My son, how did you know the king killed your little sister, his wife? My sister has appeared to me twice to tell me that the king betrayed the love they shared. She went ahead to tell me that she is very, very angry with the king. I of the gods, you know what it means for the queen of this great kingdom who died at that age and was given a befitting burial to be appearing to her closest relative with such a message. I understand exactly what you are talking about. And I feel your pain. I want the king to pay dearly for what he did to my sister. I understand, but the tradition must be followed to the letter. So what do we do? Give me some time. Let me consult with the gods. Thereafter, I shall send words across to you. But let me warn you. Do not for any reason take laws into your hands.
Is she going to see a man or what? Share it, I will return it to us. Yeah. It's you, Zondo. Return the money. Return it. How can you betray our king in this manner? Ichi Okaka, what rubbish betrayal are you talking about? Will you shut up your mouth? Ichi Okaka, shut up! Shut, shut up, up for once! What is wrong with you? I've been talking and you've been telling me to shut up. I won't give me you said your go. opinion and give I said mine. Shut up and listen for once. Can you imagine? Return what? Why will we return it? it the the hmm? We are going to share that money. Eh? Hmm. We are with Uchenna. To the end, the king must pay for his sin. See, I am always vexed. I mean, I am always annoyed each time I remember that the king refused to give us a share of the money paid by the government eh? for uh, over the oil that was found on our land. As a matter of fact, I feel like killing him because of annoyance. Hmm. Yes. You have a very good point today, Ichi Ozondo. Eh? Can you imagine? I wonder how he diverted the whole money into a developmental project. Is it community development that we will eat? Yeah. I will never be part of your conspiracy. I will never. You people hate the king to the extent that if he wants to improve the lots of this kingdom, you people will still go against him. If he wants developmental projects so that everybody will benefit, you will still go against him. Why are you people like this? Why are you haters? You vultures. I will never be part of your plot. I'm out of here. It's your kaka, you can go. You have never been part of this from the beginning. <laughs> Look at it. Um, wait, wait, wait a minute. Between him and the two of us, who looks more of a vulture? Can you imagine? It's your kaka. That I know that Igwe, have, Igwe has already bribed himself. <laughs> See, um, Uzondo, hmm? you said the money is one million naira. Oh, yes. That means we are going to share it just into two. Five hundred, five hundred. Hey, <laughs> don't mind the Mr. Goodman. After we have dealt with him, he will learn how to follow us. As a matter of fact, not only follow, uh -huh. but obey. Yes. Uh, yes. He will follow and obey. Exactly. We are going to share the money. We'll share the money. Don't mind the idiots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. 500,000 is no small money. Miriam, I hope you know that you're the most beautiful woman that I have ever seen. You are the light that Chukwu Kikabia brought into Obodo to light up the dark areas in our kingdom. I am so happy to be with you. Kiki. Mutoku. Staying in your arms is all that makes me happy. I shall look on. <laughs> Miriam. <laughs> Staying in your arms, too, is what I want to do for the rest of my life. But I am thinking that we thread carefully and maybe, you know, cut down on our meeting. Why? Why will you say so? 
Did you now have another woman in your life? <laughs> or have you suddenly become tired of having me after seeing my nakedness? What? May the gods of this land forbid that I have another woman that makes me happy. I pray every morning to Chukwoki Kiabiyam because I want him to give me an opportunity to set my eyes on you every day. Then what is the problem? People are talking. Let them talk. I don't care about what people say. <laughs> All that matters to me right now is my happiness. I'm just surprised you're talking like this. <laughs> <laughs> the sentiment that comes with what people will say is what has kept me in the mystery I am in today in the name of marriage. And I am not ready to let that happen a second time. My king, mm -hmm. enough of what people will say. I need you. I need you more, baby. Papa, I am losing my patience. Papa, I am losing it. Your daughter is pushing me to the wall. Imagine, I want, your daughter is pushing me to the wall. And by the time that I will react, if I do it, I will again, man. By the time I will react, people will be surprised what I will do. My son, can you calm down and talk to me in the way I will hear and understand you? Papa, your daughter is having an affair with the king. What did you just say? Exactly what you just had, Mama. My wife is having an affair with the king. Do you at all know the gravity of the allegation you have just lifted up against my daughter and the king? Papa, I know. I know the gravity. I know what I'm saying. Papa, if you doubt me, go to the palace right now. You will meet my wife with the king as I speak with you right now. This is serious. Very serious, you. Very, very serious. My God, if you look at not what you will do before I do it, don't think careful. What you go come out for? What you go come out for? I've had it up to this point. It is no longer news to my ears that Uchena, the king's brother-in-law, has accused him of killing his sister, his wife, the late queen of our kingdom. Uh, Ikenga, I am so happy that uh, our visit here will not be longer anymore. What exactly brought you to my home? We are here to tell you that the right thing must be done. Exactly. That is, the king must swear that he's innocent. That's all. Let me ask both of you. Do you at any point in time have any form of disagreement or rancor with his majesty? Why ask us such question? I am asking you because the way both of you are going about this whole issue is giving me cause for worry. Oh, 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 oh. Ikenga, you don't have to worry at all at all. We have no problem with the king. All we want is justice. That's all. Men like you should know there are ways to handle issues like this. I would suggest you go home and allow the tradition take its place.
Obina. What is the meaning of this nonsense? You call this nonsense, Your Majesty. You call this nonsense. This will be nothing to what I will do to you next time if you do not do the needful, Your Majesty. Obina, why have you chosen to buy the fingers that fed you when you had nothing? Your Majesty, I would rather die of starvation than spare an evil finger that wants to choke me to death with the poisonous food. Half of me, you can prepare. I like it. But you see, I'm going to forgive this little drama. But the next. Time... But what? Your Majesty, but what? Listen and listen real good. Stay away from my wife, Your Majesty. I swear. Stay away from my wife. Else, you will see the other side of me that you've never seen your entire life. Obina, do not challenge your chi to a fight. You'll not leave to tell the tale. <laughs> And I'll be that little fish bone that will choke you to death if you do not stay clear from my wife. Your Majesty, hmm? it's a promise. I will not warn you again, Your Majesty. Pray with that little piece of Stop calling for war. Stop calling for war. It's your king. Ah! Jesus. Papa. Hi. Papa, what did I do to deserve this type of slap? If you ask me that silly question once again, I will slap you again and again and again, even to the point of diplopia. Why do you want to bring shame and disgrace to this family? Eh? Why are you dragging the name and reputation of this family to come to Mali? Honestly, Papa, I don't understand what you're talking about. What did I do wrong? I have it in good authority that you are having illicit affair with the king. Papa, who told you that? Ask me again. Your husband was here yesterday. He said you are having an illicit affair with the king. Did he lie against you? So that fool came to this house to report me and nothing happened to him? Look, the question is, are you having an affair with the king or not? I demand a monosyllabic answer, yes or no. Answer me! Yes, Papa. You say what? Yes, Papa, I'm having an affair with the king and there's nothing anybody can do about it. <laughs> Papa! Okay. Papa! Okay. Papa! Oh, I want more. She Papa! Moves. Papa! Okay. What is it? Papa! Papa! Stella, what are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? I came to see you, of course. And what the hell are you doing with a gun? You came to see me. Has it been long you came? I mean, did you meet anyone at home? Can you slow down with the questions? What is the problem? Uh, there is no problem. Can we just, can we just go somewhere and talk? I came to see you and... I know you came to see me, but please, this place is not conducive for us to talk. Why Let's not? Go. Can we go somewhere and talk, please? I don't want to put me into trouble. Please. Stop looking at me. Let's go somewhere and talk. Stop looking at me that way. Get into the car. Let's go somewhere and talk. Please. Now. Now. Get into the car right now, please. What do you mean? 
Yes, it did. Why? I don't know. But I've already made up my mind. So there is nothing anybody would say or do that will make me change it. How is his health? Most importantly, how is he feeling? Uh, he's fine. He's alright. <sighs> but thank God we were able to revive him. And the nurse that is taking care of him has given him his medication. So, he's okay. I don't think that's enough. I don't agree. I, I think that he needs to... He needs to see a doctor. He needs to see a professional. No, he's fine. He's okay. No, that's not enough, baby. <sighs> Get him to see a professional. Uh, that way, you know, we're sure that he's really, really fine. Okay, if you insist. I'll just look for money and take him to the hospital. You look for money where? <laughs> Are you mocking me? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, you don't have to look for money. I'll give you the money, all right? I'll give you enough money uh, to take care of daddy. It's, I know how he gets sometimes, but he deserves your help, okay? <sighs> he deserves your help still. He's your father. Aren't you so sweet? Am I? Mm -hmm. I thought I was mean. <laughs> no, you're not. So, can we talk about this now? What exactly do you want to talk about? Stop Everything. being mischievous. What? Everything. Didn't you miss me? No, I did not. Really? Yeah, I did not. Okay, let me see. I did. Who is it? Yes, what do you want? No one to Ah, uh, all right. Let them know that I'll be with them soon. Huh? Not at this time. What do they want? I don't know. I'll just find out. Hmm? See your face. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me attend to them. Hmm? Okay. What exactly do you want from me? What sort of funny question is that? Stella, I ask again. What do you want from me? And why did you come to my house? I want you. I want all of you. I want the whole of you to myself. What? What do you mean by you want me? I want you to make love to me. Are you, are you serious or joking? I've never been this serious before. I, I need you to make love to me right here, right now. Like this minute. I... Hey, hey, Stella. Listen. I thought leaving you a long time ago would make you stop drunk. Come but on. obviously, just after breaking up, just doing drugs. Hey, I have to be on my way now. Hey, hey. I don't want you to go. Can't you see that my whole body yearns for you? I, I want Stella, you to be Stella, Stella! I am a married man. Besides, this... This is roadside. I do not care. Do, do you actually think I care? I don't care if it's... If, 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 if. I, I just don't care about anything. All I want is for you to... Hey! No, 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 no. You have to stop this now. No. You have to stop this. You have to stop this now. You have to. You have to. You have to stop this. Just the eyes and the 
the ears of Obuduku. The one who sees and hears what mere mortals cannot hear or see. You have come to see me. Hi. You're welcome. Huh? <laughs> ah. Ikenga. To what do I owe this uh, surprise visit? Your Majesty, may the peace of the gods be with you and everyone living in this palace. You say? Your Majesty, it is no longer news to your ears that Uchena, your brother-in-law, is accusing you of killing his sister, the late queen. I am here as Ikenga, the chief priest of this great kingdom, to inform you that you will have to swear to an oath to prove your innocence. And if you are found guilty, you know what the consequences will be. And what do you say? I say that I am the king of Obuduku. I say that I understand the tradition and the customs of my people. I say that even the gods of our land would agree with me when I say that I have always been on the side of the law. I understand exactly what you're asking. Are you ready to swear or not? I never prayed for a day like this to come. But as it is, we don't have a choice now, do we? Hey, King, I have decided to be with you. Pick a day time and place, and I shall be present to do the needful. Your Majesty, are you saying you are ready to take an oath in order to prove your innocence? I am saying that I am ready to do the needful. I shall inform you of the date and time. I think we should allow her come out of that marriage and follow the king, since that is what she wants. What did I hear you say? Do I have water in my mouth? I said we should allow her come out of that marriage, since she's no more interested. You can't force her to remain in that hell called marriage. Or can't you sense it that the husband is not taking good care of her? Let me tell you, marriage is for better and for worse. She has to stay in it till death do them part. That is the choice she made, and nobody made it for her. Lie, lie. You lied. Miri told me that you were the one that forced her into that marriage. She said it, and let me correct you. Marriage of today is no more for better, for worse. Mba. But for better, I stay. For worse, I go. Well, there's nothing you can do about it. We can't change anything now. Because you can't shift the goalpost when the game of soccer is already on the way. This is the choice she made. Nobody made it for her. Oh, no. I can't. I am not with you. I'm not in support. I do go. Stop supporting evil. Else, you have to bear the consequence alone. My hands are clean. What are they discussing that is making him stay this long? I hope all is well. But I hope this has nothing to do with me and the king. Oh, should I just go downstairs and know what you're discussing? 
I know. That would be very bad. I'll just sit here and wait for him to return. Your Majesty, do you really want to swear? I mean, do you really want to perform the swearing ritual? We don't have a choice as it is. I have to do the needful. If for nothing else, to prove my innocence. <laughs> I, I know. Uh, and I'm sure you still remember how dangerous what you are about to do is. What is your point to know? <sighs> your, your, your Majesty, uh, sit. Oh, yes, no, can I? Your Majesty, Namu Sine Water, Leo Yakuna, and I have the of Gosin. When you bring an object or whatsoever to hit on the ground, you will raise it up, thereby showing it to the sky. I want you to go into yourself, search yourself thoroughly, ensure that your hands are clean, that you are truly innocent. That you did not kill the queen. I, I don't want to lose you. You are my king. And you are a very nice man. I, I can't stay. I, I can't do without you. you. You want me to search myself? Of course you Well, want. it's one of two things. Say that you don't trust me. Or you don't totally believe that I am innocent. Either ways or no, I'm very disappointed in you. Are you ready to swear to prove your innocence? Well, that is why we are here. I do not need you to swear to prove your innocence. I know you are innocent. You believe that I am innocent? <sighs> I don't just believe that you are innocent. I know that you are innocent. Thank you for believing me. Thank you. My king, I am not going to make the mistake of leaving you again or change my mind towards you. It is clear to me that we are not meant for each other. And why would you say that? Why do we keep seeing each other in our dreams? In spite of the fact that we haven't seen or been together for the past five years. Five 
five years and three months and every other night. I've had you in my dreams. It is obvious that we are destined to be together as husband and wife. Are you sure? Ikemba, why do we keep seeing each other in our different dreams? Have you asked yourself? I made a very big mistake of getting married to him out of pity and sentiment five years ago. I have lived a loveless life and I do not want to continue living that life. This life has given us another chance to be together again. Please, I beg you, don't let it go. Life will not forgive me if I let it go. What are you doing here? You stupid child that brings shame and disgrace to me. My. Why are you talking to her like that? Huh? Father, what have I done for you to address me like this? If I am truly your father, just go back to the king and tell him that you are no longer interested in that very evil and illicit relationship that is currently going on between two of you. Cut off everything that is binding two of you together. Father, I love the king. He is my joy and happiness. Father, the king makes me feel like a complete woman. May thunder, may thunder twist that to your mouth to the back for, 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 for stealing that rubbish you just said now. Now I have told you to take it easy with her. Take it easy now. You and I don't know what pushed her into what she's doing now. I don't care whatever that might have led her to that. All I want her to do is that she must go back to the king and do exactly what I have asked her to do. Otherwise, she ceases to be my child. Father, you want to disown your only child? You want to disown me because of a total stranger you know nothing about? Father, you want to disown me because of the beast who deceived me into marrying him and wasting my life for the past five years, Father. What rubbish are you talking about? What rubbish are you talking about? Obi is not a real man. Obi is nothing but a vegetable. Father, Obi is impotent. What? Is he giving? You heard me very loud and clear, Mama. Obi's manhood can never stand. Obi is impotent. He's impotent. He can. His manhood doesn't work. Julie, why are you here again? Why are you tormenting me? Why are you always appearing here? Like I owe you something. I owe you nothing, Julie. I give you the best of me while you were still alive and with us. I did the best that I could to ensure that you did not die. I took you to the best hospitals across the world to keep you alive. But 
death chose you. And then you died. But you have refused to rest in peace. Why are you tormenting me? Mind how you talk to me. You will let me speak my mind. Because I have a lot on my mind. Your brother, Uchenna, is accusing me, your husband. things that I killed him. But you know the truth. Go and tell him the truth. Appear to him and tell him the truth. Tell him to stop dragging the name of the king of Obodoku through the mud. Tell him that I'm innocent. Tell him the truth. Stop showing up here, Juliana. Else I will have no option other than to chain your spirit. <sighs> Stop tormenting me. For the past five years, my marriage has been horrible. I have lived a miserable life as a woman. My husband has never performed his conjugal duties as a husband. People call me names. They say whatever they like to me. They call me a barren woman, not knowing that my husband is the problem. My daughter, why didn't you tell us your parents all this why? Why are you so quiet over this? I mean, over a critical case like this. Why didn't you tell me? Mama, he made me swear. He made me swear in the shrine that I will never tell anybody what's going on in our marriage. According to him, he said it's because telling people what happens in your marriage is not good. That it is a result of most broken homes today. That was why I believed him and when I had to marry him. Chekwa, wait. You mean all you have just said now happened before both of you got married? Yes, Mama. He told me he didn't want to have sex before marriage. And I agreed. That young man is a beast. That boy is a beast. God will surely punish him for making you go through all this. Mama, Papa, please, I do not want to continue with this marriage. Please, my heart belongs to the king. No way. You are not going to marry more than one man. Polyandry is not a part of our culture. In fact, it's only in the case of death of one of you, that you can consider the uterogamy. By the way, you, you, you brought this young man to me and told me that you loved him so much to the extent that uh, uh, of getting married. Did anybody force you? Did I? Good father. I have given your hand to that young man in marriage and he is the one you will marry because marriage is for better and for worse. Anyone else? I don't know you, but you know when I'm hearing again, I'll be here.
Your Majesty, the appointed time is here. Are you sure you are ready for this? The King, I am ready and willing to prove my innocence. So let me know once you're ready so that we can go ahead. Step forward to wash your hands in this basin of truth and life and let the cleansing process begin. I don't need to explain the details to you because you already know our tradition as king. Stop. Young man, why will you interrupt this process? I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt the process. I know it can be stopped at this very stage. I have something to tell you all. My sister, the late queen of this great kingdom, appeared to me three times yesterday. And she told me that the king does not have a hand in her death. Yes, she said that her death is a result of the deadly cancer she suffered. Your Majesty, my sister said I should not allow you to perform this ritual. Young man, are you sure of what you just told us? Yes. She said the king is innocent of the allegations. She also said that her messages to me has something to do with her love life with, with the king. Your Majesty, please, I'm sorry. I am very sorry for all that I've put you through. Your Majesty, what do you have to say? Uchenaya. Yes, Your Majesty. In spite of your late sister's absence, I still see you as family. And that means that I love you like a brother. I understand your actions. You did what you did out of ignorance, filled by emotions. Most times, when people feel offended, their first reflex is to be aggressive, as opposed to applying wisdom. But you know what I say? Love beyond and above all sins. I love you like a brother, Jinnah. And therefore, I say in the presence of my elders in council that I forgive you with all of my heart. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> you may rise, it's okay. Papa, I have not seen my wife since morning she left the house. So I came to find out if she's here. Didn't she tell you where she was going when she left the house? I, I asked her. She didn't say what to me, she just spoke, ignored me and uh, walked out. And the worst part is that her number is switched off. Young man, what did my stepdaughter do to you that you want to destroy her life entirely? What wrong has she done to you? Mama, I, I don't understand. No, you understand. You understand very well. Let me tell you, let me warn you, should anything happen to that girl, hey, I will show you the other side of me you have never seen in life. I will deal with you to the extent you will call death to come and take you, but it will not come. Do not say I did not warn you. Adu, shut that your mouth. Eh, eh, enough. enough. Eh, what is enough? Open your mouth. Oh, God, open your mouth at this point. Open your mouth and talk. What's the enough? What is enough? Can you hear the enough ever? Me down. What is it? Okay. Mama, why are you talking to me like this? 
What wrong did I do to you? You have done everything wrong. You are evil, Obi. You are if evil. You are more than evil. How can you deceive my stepdaughter into marrying you when you know very well that your manhood is dead? Yes! If people that got a wrong, I want to How can you do that? What does an impotent man have to do with a wife? What can he be possibly doing with her? A woman, is, a woman is enough. Eh? Enough. Is enough. It's not enough. You are shouting me down. Again. Yes. Simply because you know I'm against divorce. What? What? what against what? what? Say something. Can I My mother is going to something now. Say something. Kwaku, kwaku. Don't work in Abu. What is wrong with you? Allow me to talk to this devil in human form. You are nothing but a devil. But let me tell you. Allow my stepdaughter to go. Do not harm her anymore. Do not do her evil anymore. Enough is enough. Allow her to go and live with the man her heart is with. The man she has found joy and happiness with. The man that can satisfy her life and satisfy her feeling as a woman. Jirina Swaso. Allow her to go to an engine that is alive, working. You are entirely dead. What are you doing with her? This, Why do you want to get her? This young man is not dead. He has had even a deaf person might have had you. Okay, it's it's now. Okay, Say something. Go to the radio house. On your baby and I walk on a truck. Go to the radio house. You say on your baby and I walk on a truck. You know, nonsense. Hey, the past five years has been full of pain, agony, sorrow, and mystery. He has never touched me ever since he got married to me. Your Majesty, Obi is impotent. What? Obi is impotent, yet he made me get married to him. What? May the gods of our land forbid. Are you making this up? Are you sure what you have just said? Yes, Your Majesty. Obi's manhood is completely dead. His manhood has never worked. Like, he's impotent. Obi has never touched me ever since I got married to him. This is crazy. You know, now I understand why it was a bit difficult. You know, to penetrate you the first time I loved you. You know, I wanted to talk about it. You know, while we were at it, but I was just carried away with joy and excitement of, of having you to me for the first time in my life. I mean, such a beautiful experience making love to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm confused, you know. If this was the case, why then did you continue to stay in the marriage? I was confused. I didn't know what to do considering the fact that he saved my life. I didn't know what my parents, especially my father, would do if I leave. I didn't know what he would do. And the society. I didn't know what they would think when they realized that he gave me one kidney. Well, this is... 
stop crying. So what have you decided? I am done. I'm done. I don't care about what anybody has to say about me. At this point, all I care about is my life and my happiness. My king, you are that very happiness that I need in my life. My baby. It's okay, come. It's fine. Come here. Stop crying. Stop crying. Come on. Stop crying. Don't cry. Papa. Yes. Please say it. I don't want my wife to leave me. I love her so much. If she leaves, I may die. I can't withstand the shame that I'm going to face in this kingdom. Peace, Papa. Obi. Papa. Tell me, what exactly is your endeavor? Is it that you love your wife so much that you cannot afford to lose her? Or is it that you cannot withstand the, 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 the very shame and disgrace that will engulf you after she might have left and people discover that you are important? I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But I, I love my wife. I just want her to stay. You want her to stay? Yes, Papa. To stay and do what? To stay and do what? Eh? Why did you lie to her? You succeeded in deceiving all of us. And you made my daughter to marry you when you know very well, right inside you, that you, you, you are dead as a man. Eh? Now you want her to stay. To stay and do what? Eh? So that she will become nulliparous all the days of her life? I am sorry. I am sorry I lied to you. And every member of the family, Papa, I'm oh. sorry. Please forgive me. I am sorry. But please, Papa, I need my wife. I need her to stay with me. I love her. Please help me talk to her to stay with me. Please. I don't know what to do again about this matter. I, uh, my hands are tied. In fact, I'm completely uh, 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 flummoxed. Why did you do that? You tell me, why did you do that? Why did you betray our love and trust? Why? What did I do to you? And yes, I did the right thing. You did the right thing by telling your parents that I am impotent. Not many the oath of secrecy that we took to keep our secrets intact. What is the problem with you? Why did you do that? Why do you have to reveal our secret? Who is deceiving you? Nothing has come over me, and nobody is deceiving me. Talking about deceit, you are the one who deceived me. What are you talking about? Are you seriously asking me how? Obi, you knew about your medical conditions, yet you hid it from me. Instead, you made me to swear to one stupid and useless shrine that I will not tell anybody what's going on in our marriage. And you went ahead to break an oath of secrecy, not minding the consequence. What stupid consequence are you talking about? Tell me! And if you must know, and I'll know the truth. You, you mean he's not a native doctor? I mean, a powerful native doctor. <laughs> my dear, I told you he's not a native doctor. Kelechi here is my husband. And we've been married for two years. Not just that. We dated for five good years before we got married. I'm really surprised you're saying all this. My dear, <laughs> I am not a native doctor. As a matter of fact, um, Obi is my cousin's friend. 
So he actually paid me to act as a native doctor to cover up for his problems. That's it. Wow. Hey. This whole thing sounds like days by moonlight to my ears. Like, <laughs> you mean my husband, Obi, paid you? Yeah, I'm not a native doctor. As a matter of fact, it is not even in my lineage at all. Or am I a native doctor? I've never known you as one. <laughs> Thanks to God that we are having this conversation. I mean, oh. if not that we attended this child dedication, we wouldn't have seen you. I wonder. Let alone wonder. have this conversation in the first place. Okay. I really thank God, though. Oh, I really yeah. thank God. Just um, endure. Just. Thank Take you hard, so eh? much. Thank you. Right. I really appreciate sister. this. You're welcome. Yes, thank You're you. Welcome. All right, you bye. Please, my drive darling. Carefully. All right, no problem. You're welcome. Bye. I am sorry. I, I, I never meant it that way. Please, find a place in your beautiful heart to forgive me. I. I truly love you. Don't you ever say it. Don't you ever say that to me again. Don't you do it. If you truly love me, you wouldn't have done what you did. Don't you do that. Don't pretend. What is this? I, I am sorry. I didn't tell you because I, I didn't want to lose you. See, I, I lost five beautiful girls in the past because I told them the truth. So I am the best person to remain in your life, right? Really? Like I should remain in your life. So you decided to cage me with all those lies. I'm sorry. Ah. And please, I, I am sorry. Please. I love you and then I don't want you to leave me. I don't even know why I'm please. sitting here listening to you. No, please don't touch me. I am tired of this marriage. Oh, for the Why? I married you at all. I'm most known about Govan Sildwai and I'm the H.A.E.O.S. The matter on ground is a very serious one and must be treated as such. Your Majesty, you know our tradition. We expect you to abide by it at all times. Must we always remind you of our tradition before you do certain things? Your Majesty, you have no option at all in this case. You have to abide by the dictates of our tradition. You have to marry another wife within the time frame allowed a king in our kingdom by our tradition in cases like this. Um, elders of Oboduku, I see that um, you all came prepared. Eh? <laughs> Please rest easy. Eh? I assure you, I have this situation under control. I have not at any point declared that I will not take a self on wife. I, I understand the tenets of our tradition. All I'm asking is that you give me more time. Bikun, eh? A little time to put a few things together. And I promise to do the needful within the stipulated time. We have no time to give you, Your Majesty. Do what tradition requires of you. Uh, 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 the is, no king rules without a queen by his side. I know. Good. Even in our kingdom, in the history of this land, we have never heard of it. No king has ever ruled our people without a wife by his side more than six months. So, what we're saying is that, um, of course, you cannot be the kind of king that will change the good tradition of this land to a bad one. Mm. Of course, it shouldn't be you. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you're not a man. You will not do what those elders have asked you to do. You will not take another wife. But I need another wife. No, you don't need it. 
the bylaws of our customs and traditions states that no king can sit on a throne beyond six months without a wife. I need a wife. Or do you want me to lose my throne? No, you will not lose the throne. I will make sure of it. Besides, you have a wife and you do not need another wife. I don't understand. I am your wife. And you don't need any other woman. But you're dead. And the dead and the living have nothing in common. Will you shut up your mouth? Don't you ever spit out this useless thing to me again. It's funny how Obi wouldn't look my way after everything I've done for him. I don't believe that we come back from my trip from Abuja and still be hearing about this Obi of a person. Why can't you just move on with your life? Forget about that guy. Did you say move on with my life? Oh, yes. How can you even say that? Do you know what I've done for that guy? Did he beg you to do what you did for him? You went to police headquarters for something else, right? And you made them there. You decided to help by burying him and even pay for the keke that got him into problem. Why is that a big deal? So what is that supposed to mean? You are bigger than that. It's not a big deal. I know it's not a big deal, but I said I love that man. And I will do anything within my past to have him. Then why did you lose him in the first place? And why are you not with him? The truth is we are never intimate. <laughs> you think I am joking? Listen. I was never intimate with Obi. And I never knew him to be such a great guy. It was after he left that I realized I was madly in love with him. <laughs> But it was already too late because Johnson already introduced me to drugs. That reminds me. What about Johnson? Where is he? I don't know. <laughs> but he wouldn't stop calling me on a daily basis. Oh. But that guy is still I want my guy and I will do everything to have him back. <laughs> okay. If you say so, do your wish. So how are you doing? I've missed you. <laughs> no matter how fast his printer runs, he or she can never attrain what the creator have destined for he or she. What are you driving at? We've been apart for so many years now. Don't you think fate brought us back together? Why are you deceiving yourself? Is it not obvious that Chupuki Kabiyama brought us back together? I mean, look at it this way. Your wife is dead. Leaving just you and I alone in this world to enjoy ourselves. And again, your elders want you to get a wife. It's that. So don't you think it's a great opportunity for both of us to come back together again? <laughs> ah, Mandy. I've always loved your sense of humor. I see how you put all the puzzles you know, solved here. You play chess, eh? I can tell. You'll be great at it. But life, sometimes, is not a game of chess. This between you and I is reality. Seven years, Mandy, you and I have been apart. And for seven years, you have not found a man to make your own. No man has seen you good enough to be his wife. Why do you think in your small head that I'm going to go that route with you? My king. Mandy, look around you. This is a palace not a dumping ground 
for women that have been used by different men over the years. You are not fit to be my wife. I'm never going to marry you. See who is here. The bright morning star. Obodu. I now want it. Come, 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 come. Omali Eh? In any way, Jalo. You have come to see your king. Yes, Your Majesty. How have you been? I am doing amazing. I can see that. Um, I never knew you had someone here. So I think I'll just go and come back. Oh, no, 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 no. Mandy was just on her way out. It's okay. You can make yourself comfortable. the king's personal assistant. That means you're the right person I should be asking this question. My ears are very wide open to hear the questions you want to ask. So, shoot. Who is that lady in there with the king? Her name is Miri. She is from this kingdom. What's her relationship with the king? I don't understand. Is she having an affair with the king? Do you realize you are asking me things that has to do with the king's private life? Do you? How can you have to answer this question for it's very important to me? Listen to me, young lady. Okando is an ordinary personal assistant to the king, though highly respected by all the palace staff. But let it be registered in your thick call that my job description does not include knowing things about the king's personal life. I don't blame you. I blame myself for abandoning my duty at the palace. And coming into this, your stupid car to have this useless conversation with you. How dare you open your mouth to ask me things about the king's personal, uh, the private life? Are you alright? Let this be the last time you will open your mouth to ask me a stupid question like this again. Nonsense. You have the mouth to ask me about the king's private life. Who are you? Haven't I told you I do not want to see any other woman in my kitchen all in the name of preparing meal for you? Why do you constantly get me upset? Why are you doing this? Have I not made it clear to you that we are, we are worlds apart now? Tell her to abandon whatever useless meal she's making for you and leave this palace as soon as possible. How about you let me live my life in peace? Don't dare me. Else you will be marvel at what I will do to her in your presence. Who is that lady? Why do I have this feeling? that there is something very strong between them. Could she be his mistress? Did Okandu tell me the truth when he said he does not know things about the king's private life? Hmm, Mandy, you must do anything possible to get into the king's heart and make him your husband. No one must get into your way. Stella, I thought I told you not to ever come to my house again. You have no such right to tell me where and when not to see you. This is my house, Stella. 
and I have the right to tell whoever I do not want to see to so stay clear. Can you stop shouting? Because it's quite embarrassing. Now you listen to me. You are going to decide what you want going forward. I don't understand. You will either date me or pay me back every dime that I've spent on you, especially on your keke. Stella, what? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, so you can actually talk in a calm manner. What exactly am I doing? Make your choice and make it very fast. Else I will be forced to lock you in a place where no one would find you. what I will do to her, right? Tell her to leave immediately. Tell her to leave else I will kill her and you will be held responsible for her death. Tell her to leave! I want you to leave. Is everything okay, Your Majesty? No questions, just to follow my instructions. faced with this kind of ugly situation why is life so unfair to me how am i supposed to handle two delicate situations i can't afford to lose my beautiful wife for any reason on the other hand i don't have money to pay stella so she can allow me have peace of mind stella is a very dangerous person i know she meant every word she said to me. Why is fate playing this type of game with my life? could have prompted the king to do what he did today. His actions does not look ordinary to me. Hm. I think something is seriously wrong somewhere. Could it be that he is no longer interested in me? What is really going on? Uh, no, I don't think I can survive if the king decides to abandon me in my present condition. What do I do next? Your Majesty, Okonabanugu, there is serious fire on the mountain, and we have to act fast. We must act fast to quench that fire before it consumes you. Oh no, well, what is this fire that you fear would consume a king of my caliber? What is going on? 
I got a reliable information that the Chi Uzondo is plotting to move that you be dethroned. That is, if you fail to comply with tradition, which means by you taking another wife within the stipulated time. Oh, okay, for Is that why you're panicking? You might just see. Oh, no. Relax. My question, though, is what is the problem with the chills on them? Does he think that he can win this battle? The thing is, honestly, I will advise that this is not the right time for you to go into fight with anybody. Instead, think of doing the needful, do the right thing. After all, truly, you need an heir. You need an heir. I know. But I need an heir to this throne. As customs and traditions demand, I know. Yes, sure. And that is why, if you have noticed, I have been threading carefully so that I do not make a mistake that would be costly. But I also think that Ichi Sondo is doing too much. I, I understand. Oh no. Rest easy. I want to assure you that your wise counsel will not be in pain. May you live long, Great Majesty. I could be this dull man. I am very sorry to announce to you that you cannot see the key. And why can't I do why? You cannot see the king because the king is in a very important meeting with a VIP. Now, who is this important personality that the king is having to Tony, why are you trying so hard to get on my nerves with your too many questions? Why? Well, I'm sorry, but I need to. So tell me what Mandy, there is no doubt you are a lady of great class. You have a very wonderful class in the society. But I want you, Mandy, to understand that you are not in the league of men who are capable of questioning me who can do. Why are you doing so stupid? Why are you so stupid? Why? Mandy, you, you can call it whatever you like. Call it whatsoever you like. Oh, can you? Do not care. I don't care how you feel or what you call what is going on right now. But I want you to understand something very important. And that thing is that you, Mandy, will not see the king of this kingdom today. Who can is the king of the kingdom? Mandy, let me tell you this. I, Okan Dongwan Ozie, will be the last person that will open his mouth to answer any other question for you. I will not try it. In fact, let me tell you this. The very moment I will open this, my mouth will be the time I will spit at you for being too stupid, senseless, useless, and shameless. Nay, you have refused to say or do anything since your daughter reported to you about Obi's uh, 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 health condition. So, what exactly do you want me to do? You want me to go and kill the young man simply because he's impotent? Huh? What kind of question is that? Marriage is for better, for worse. Meaning that your daughter should continue living with someone that can never satisfy her feelings as a married woman. Let's say alone getting her pregnant. Oh no. Ijikwanyagi. Eh? Are you with your right mind? To 
don't you want to carry your grandchildren? Maybe you have uh, started suffering from presbycusis. Let me put it more succinctly to you, maybe for the last time. Mary has married. And nothing on earth will make me to support her stupid idea of divorcing her husband. That marriage must stop. Initially, she was visiting once in a while, but as time went on, she started visiting very regularly. Sometimes she visits up to four or five times a week. So, do you think she has any relationship? Um, ma, uh, I am not in a better position to. My king, what really happened to daddy? I am sorry. I'm sorry about... Sorry about that. Please tell me. You got me worried. I know. But I... I don't want to talk about it. No. But I deserve to know. I was seriously worried. And I promise you that it will not happen again. Okay, please. Let's um, not talk about it. I am pregnant. What, what did you say? I am pregnant for you, my king. Sure what you have just said. May the gods forbid that I lie with something as serious as this. I wanted to break the news to you the other day, but you asked me to leave. <sighs> Miriam, you have made me happy. I want you to know that this is the best news I have gotten since I became king of this land. Thank you. Come here. And who are you to call me in that manner? My findings so far proves that you're a regular visitor in the palace. What do you normally go there to do? What business do you have with what I go to the palace to do? I want to stay away from the king. Why, if I may ask? It seems you're a little bit stubborn. I like that, but I don't want to see you anywhere around the king again. <laughs> wow. You must be a wonderful comedian. 
In fact, you just cracked the best joke of the year. Man, they don't crack jokes. Mm -mm. I don't crack jokes. If you stand on my way, I will crush you. Mm. Yes. Don't say I did not want you. Despite my last warning, you still allowed her into this palace. Why? Juliana, why have you refused to accept the reality looking at you? Don't talk to me about reality. I'm sorry, I cannot do what you've asked me to do. Because you do not have respect for me and the love we shared. She is pregnant for me. I cannot abandon her now. And you do not care about the consequences of your action? My love, do not do what you and I will regret. Tell her to abort that thing that she's carrying in her womb. Else, be ready to face the music. 